video will introduce you to the concept of time in music. As you may well be aware, in the Western tradition, we have a very clear way of organizing time. Uh, music exists in time. There is a beginning point for the piece and an ending point for the piece. And the events that occur between the beginning and the ending are very carefully organized. Now, it should be noted that in non-Western music, they often have a very different view of time and a very different way of organizing time. Certainly in even the Western tradition, when you get into the 20th century art music, the concept of traditional ways of organizing music in time get challenged. And there are a lot of other interesting and vibrant ways of thinking about time that occur in the 20th century. Uh, certainly also it would be true that the way we conceive of and view time evolved and that the way we think of time in the medieval or the Renaissance period, earlier time periods, than the bulk of the music we will encounter and study in the course of our lives, most of us, uh, then we find that in those earlier time periods they also have a different view of time, uh, or at least an evolving view of time. What we're looking at is the way that the concept of time in music became sort of standardized around 1600 and remained more or less that same way of doing it until about 1900 and remained even beyond 1900 in the areas of rock and pop music and to some extent in the areas of jazz music. So the concept of organizing time is really specific to Western music and to Western music in that time period, as far as the way we're going to study it and look at it. There are certainly many ways, as I say, to organize time, but we're going to limit ourselves to this specific time period in which we find that time in music is organized in a very specific way. Now, the element that we most need to understand is, in regard to time is the concept of beat. What you will find is that on the surface of music, we have all those colorful and interesting things that are ultimately what draw us to music. We have the colorful sounds of the instruments being used. We have rhythms being played. We have harmony being uh, sung or played. We have melody. We have all these kind of interesting colorful elements to our music, which on the surface make for a fantastic experience and are what engage us and draw us to the music. What we need to acknowledge, and I think what many of us will easily relate to, is that fundamentally behind that facade, those interesting and engaging and important and colorful surface elements, behind that there is something that in Western music we refer to as the beat. And it's the ongoing driving force behind the music. And the beat, is an important element. A beat is a regularly recurring pulse that lies behind music and is in a sense the driving force or at least the anchor, the point of reference for everything that happens on the surface. What we find is that then the events that occur on the surface are either occurring with the beat, which we would say is on the beat, or they're occurring against the beat where we would say they were off the beat. If we have a beat like this, if I sing on the beat, it would sound like this. La, 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 la. Now, I didn't sing exactly with the beat every time. Sometimes I sang notes that were in between the beats, but I was essentially singing with the beat. I was connecting to or orienting myself around that beat in an organized way that felt like it was right with and on the beat. If I now do something similar but I purposefully sing off the beat, it would sound like this. There's, here's the beat. I would sing like this. La, 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 la. And you hear, even as I'm doing it, it sounds, it feels like there's a tension between the beat and what I'm doing purposefully singing off the beat. I'm not hitting the beat. I'm singing purposefully against it or in the middle of it, off the beat. That concept of being on the beat and off the beat becomes foundationally important to the way Western music is put together. So we have a beat 
and then we had events that occur either with the beat on it or against the beat off it on the beat and off the beat now we're going to look in the next video about beat in a little bit more detail. We're going to realize that there are two types of beat and two ways of dividing or thinking about the beat. And uh, we'll be looking at that in detail in the next video. For this video, I wanted you to get the concept and idea that A, there is such a thing as beat, and B, that events generally occur either with or on the beat, or they occur against or off the beat. And if you feel like you have that concept down, you're comfortable with that concept, then it's time to go on to the next video.